All right, so this has been a long time coming. Finally, I'll do the Q&A. God, you can stop asking now. To be honest, I did originally record it back when I asked the questions, but the thing about me is I like to talk a lot. I talked for like nearly an hour and trust me, editing a video where it's just you talking for an hour straight, it's just terrible and no one is gonna watch it. Even edited down, it, it would mostly be talking, so it's just boring. Maybe we can do another in the future where I talk longer and I get more in depth with things, but I just gotta get this one out. So I'll go through questions kind of fast, but I'll still go into them, of course. So I got all of these questions from my Twitter and Discord. They are both linked down below. Go follow, go join. Let's get to the questions now. So starting off, I'm gonna go through the older ones from October 2nd. God, man, I really made you guys wait. Do I like SFM animations? Yes, I do. I think some of them can be very, very enjoyable. I think most of them are very, very funny. Even the ones that are good, they can still be very funny. I get a good watch out of them. I don't watch them regularly, I'll be honest, but I am subscribed to a few SFM people and I think they are freaking fantastic. Theory on the Moon Man. I feel like he's gonna be one of the main villain animatronics. I mean, he's got the red eyes, he's stalking you in the kitchen in the trailer. So I feel like he is going to play a evil role in the game. My favorite skin or character, I'm guessing you're talking about FNAF AR. My favorite skin is and always will be Endo 01 Flamethrower Bear Endo. Favorite character so far? Uh, Frost Bear was pretty good. I feel like he was a very solid character. They are releasing a new character tonight as I'm recording this. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it out tonight, so who that is, I don't know. But yeah, skin, Flamethrower Bear Endo, character, probably Frost Bear. Favorite FNAF game and do I like FNAF 4? My favorite FNAF games have wanted, though I feel like it'll probably be Security Breach when it comes out eventually. And yes, I do really enjoy FNAF 4. I know a lot of people love it now just because Docker replayed it and now everyone's like, oh my god, this was such a great game. But I, I'm one of the OGs. I freaking love that game. Can I play FNAF Online 1 and 2 again? Uh, maybe. I feel like the thing is with that game is that there's not much to do and there's also not many characters. To, um, to play through, so you can get like at maximum only 10 people in a game. And when you have a couple hundred people showing up to a live stream and you can only get at maximum four to 10 people in, you know, it's kind of difficult and you can't tell people, you know, oh, you already went, please don't join. It, it's just a whole mess, so I don't think I'll play it again. Maybe on Twitch, I don't know. Am I streaming UCN port or am I doing it as a video? I'm going to do one video for my initial reaction. I'm gonna get all the controls down. Um, Teen Gamer and I have talked, we're allowed a little bit of free time to just explore the game, see what it's like. So one initial release day video, and then the rest will be live streams. Who inspired me to start making videos? You know, the thing is, I, I was thinking about this one for a while, and I really do not know. Who inspired me to make videos? Probably like Markiplier or someone. Who inspired me to make FNAF videos? Probably Daco or someone. Actually, it would probably be more Epic Gaming, because I, I freaking loved those boys back then. How did the admin team meet each other? You know, man, I, <laughs> this was another one I was thinking about. I don't entirely know. I know, I've known Babs for a while, ever since you, you, you and N1 came out, I've known about Babs. Um, Flame, Flame helped me with fan game tips. Deepest was a channel member. Sketch just helped make the server. I don't, I don't remember. Sega, I don't even know where the hell Sega came from. If I'm being dead ass honest, I just don't remember. Nate did some renders, and MP just did some drawings, and I feel I'm probably missing someone. Knowing me, I'm totally missing someone. Have I ever regretted something that I've done? If yes, what is it? I've regretted a lot of things. Uh, I feel like I can't go into specifics just because there's so much stuff. God, I'm such a terrible person. But yeah, I mean, I think everyone has regretted a few things in their life and I, I definitely have some. What is my unpopular opinion? I don't know if it's unpopular at this point, but I really just don't care about the FNAF lore at this point. You know, <laughs> like it's it's gone too far off the rails, especially with the new books, just everything. It just, it doesn't make sense anymore. So I, honestly, like, I'm looking forward to Security Breach for the characters, to see how the game is gonna play, new gameplay, stuff like that. I, I don't really care anymore about William Afton coming back, or Vanny leading in the footsteps of Afton. I just, I don't really like the lore anymore. It's way too complex. What are my thoughts on the server? Well, a month ago would be a very different statement than this now, and I'm gonna make this as truthful as possible. While I do think the server is a great place to 
talk with you guys, it can be a bit much. And so when stuff like that happens, when it just goes completely out of hand, it, it's not fun at all. Main, that's mainly why I stay invisible on Discord. N now, I've started to come back online when I am on the app, but, you know, that's that's why I went invisible for a long time. It was a mistake. Yes and no, and those reasons I've already gotten into. Are we friends? Being honest, no, we are not friends. Um, even some of the mods are debatable as friends. I don't like to call online people that I know friends just because people blow that way too out of proportion. You know, like Stans, the best example of that are Stans. Now, I'm not saying that I hate my mods or anything, and I'm not saying that I hate you guys, it's just viewers, and this is, this is me going in depth. It's such a weird thing now, and I've been thinking about this for a while, especially on Twitter, just because, not trying to brag, but my tweets have been getting quite a few likes recently. It's just so weird to think about that I have an audience now, and some people think that we're friends. Again, I'm not trying to say I hate you guys. I'm just saying the, the viewer and the YouTuber you guys think you know the YouTuber, and I'm sure Matt Pat has talked about this a lot, and I'm sure a lot of people have as well, but when you watch a YouTuber, you only see the side that they want you to see, and trust me, I'm completely different off of YouTube. I'm being honest here, boys, okay? I'm being honest. We're not, we're not really friends. Have I heard of these FNAF songs? Let's see. We are aware- nope. Uh, we the Phantoms. Yes, flip side. I don't think so. Make a move. Of course we play with Nightmare. I think so. Um, which one's my favorite? Oh, which one's my opinions on them? Well, for the ones I do know, We Are the Phantoms I only know from Freddy Pop Collector. Make Your Move, that's an absolute bop. And We Play Our Nightmare, I feel like I've heard of that one, I just can't remember what it is. Do I like custom figures? I feel like some can be very, very fantastic, and others can just look like a giant mush <laughs> of just different animatronic poets, like the FNAF 3 boss. I was thinking about this, and I think it might be one of the pun punishments for the, um, 50-20 challenge. Um, I would probably just do Count the Waves just because it's new, I enjoy it, I think it's a great song. Ah, this is expanding on what I was talking about earlier. Do I act when I'm recording, or am I always like that person even off camera? I, again, that's what I'm talking about earlier. earlier. I show you guys the character I want you guys to see. I act completely different off camera. And if you've ever been in a call with me, the mods can back me up on this, the people in the content creator circle can back me up on this, my friends and family in real life can back me up on this, I am very different. I do say frick and heck in my videos, but I do swear a lot more when I am talking with IRL friends, when I'm off camera. I also have a very dark sense of humor, so I make a lot of edgy and dark jokes. So. Yeah, things you just don't really need to say, and things you can't really say when you have an audience that are looking for FNAF content. Favorite Nintendo game? Right now, it's probably Smash Bros. Right now, it's probably Smash. I'm having a fun time. I got back into it because of Steve, and it's just a fun, very fun game. My favorite FNAF Fazbear Fright book? I've only read the first three stories. Still, after months of saying, um, I'm gonna read them, my favorite one would probably be... I don't know, which one was the, um... Probably count the ways. I, I enjoyed that one. I know not many people did, but I enjoyed that one. My favorite voice for a FNAF character? Rockstar Bonnie all the way. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even joking. That man is beautiful. His voice is just buttery. My first channel was Johnny underscore blocks, kind of like under underscore. I mean under underscore score. And I, I made a Roblox content. I have this very strong memory of me making a Thanksgiving special where it was the hide and seek, but your character avatar was a turkey, and that was the thumbnail, it was just a turkey. I think that channel was deleted, but if you can find it, maybe it's still up, but I think I deleted it. Favorite character, Mango, we've always been over this. What is my age? That is interesting. <laughs> I've always been hesitant to give out personal things like this, but I feel like I've probably said it somewhere. I am a teenager, if you did not know. I know a lot of people think that I am living on my own, or this is a college dorm room, it is not. I'm still in high school. I am a teenager. Just saying. I know, like, so many people were surprised. I think it's because of the beard. If I weren't doing YouTube, what would I be doing? Probably something better to do with my time, like school. <laughs> How did I find about FNAF or Scott? Well, I found out about FNAF um, a little bit after its release. 
uh, leading up to the release of the second game, my friend Sam, who actually played FNAF AR for the first time. If you guys were there for my 10k stream, all my IRL boys showed up, um, and we all hung out that day, it was great. Uh, and, and he played FNAF VR for the first time, and it was so surreal, seeing the, the guy that introduced me to the franchise play the game in VR at my house. It was just incredible, and I have a video of it. Uh, if he says yes, maybe I can share it, but it's just, it was so heartwarming, you know? Why or how did I know that hitting three clown posters would do something? Uh, I know a lot of people say that I found the easter egg, even I say that I found the easter egg, but technically I didn't. I was only the first person to get it on video. Uh, people had already found it, but there was no, like, photographic evidence of it, at least in video form, so I just looked at a all easter eggs in Costa Tra I think I talked about this in the video, but I had a list of things I needed to do, so I just kept playing until I got them. And how long did it take me to do that? I can't remember the exact time now, but it took a bit. Maybe, like, 30 minutes to an hour and a half? Maybe? I can't remember. It was a while. Which FNAF song is my favorite right now? It's Count the Ways, but I'm not really listening to any FNAF songs anymore. It's just, they're all kind of cheesy now, and you can tell they're all FNAF, but I do listen to some occasionally. I just, I've kind of stopped for now just because there's not really many songs that I listen to anymore. I mainly listen to some old ones, like The Living Tombstone, CG5, Day Games, Darko, all them boys, but right now it's probably Count the Ways. Do I think FNAF will have representation in Smash? I definitely do. I think Freddy has a very very, very high chance of becoming a Mii Fighter costume, like Cuphead, like Sans, like um, uh, Fallout Boy, all them boys, I think he has a very high chance. If I did a different topic on my channel and it wasn't FNAF, what would it be? I don't think I would have kept doing Roblox if I sticked with Johnny underscore blocks. I feel like I probably would have done Minecraft, that was another game that I was thinking about. Maybe Fortnite, but I feel like I probably would have stopped by now because I haven't played Fortnite like at all this season. So probably Minecraft, um, or just other indie games like DDLC, Bendy, um, or just like some casual games like Cuphead, maybe a variety channel, I don't know. Am I gonna get a YouTube's one day or any type of merchandise? Definitely not anytime soon. May I'd say maybe like a 100k special or something, and I know that sounds absurd. It's just, trust me. And I know a lot of people always say, oh, I'd buy your merch. Trust me, they would not do well. So probably years in the future, maybe. I, I really want a hat. I don't have one near me. But just a black cap, like a dad hat, and it has the JB logo. That is the most wanted Johnny Blocks merch I want right now. And maybe I'll make one for myself, but I don't know. But yeah, I definitely, I, I've got some merch ideas for the future, but again, never anytime soon. My favorite FNAF human. Ah, uh, god, I just looked in my lights. That was a terrible idea. Now I can't, I'm blind now. Um, I don't know. I feel like Henry was kind of, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Lacking? I feel like there wasn't much to him, at least from what we've seen. I feel like I wish he was better, I guess, just as a as a character, as a whole, because, you know, like, William Afton, he has this whole character arc, but, like, Henry, I mean, he has a character arc, but it's not nearly as strong as William's. Um, Charlie was good, too. Um, I loved the original trilogy. I don't know why people don't like it as much nowadays, but I freaking loved reading those when they came out, so all the characters in there were fun. Favorite moment in a FNAF game? Mine is the death of Pope guy. That's a good one. Um, but mine, and I always say this, and it's always going to be my top number one, is the FNAF 6 ending. The completion ending, where everything burns, you get this great monologue, which at this point no longer means anything, but it was just beautiful. Moving on to my latest tweet, I put this out like 30 minutes ago, so if you didn't respond by 30 minutes, I'm not going to see it. Well, I always do FNAF in the channel. Wow, I think you mean on the channel, Mason. That's kind of cringy of you to say in the channel when it's on the channel. Um, I mean, probably the thing about being a FNAF channel is that I've built my whole channel up as a FNAF channel. I've done other things as well, like I did Boys in the Dark Survival, I did DDLC, and I want to get back into doing that because I never finished it. I've done other indie games, but I feel like it'll mainly be FNAF, at least wow FNAF is still alive and also like I just fucking love FNAF overall like I'm having a blast doing FNAF content and I have so many ideas but they just take a long time like I have a full google doc of ideas and I want to get those done but school is being a bum right now same thing with driving <laughs> Oh, 
me and you friends. No, I haven't been over this. My, you are my community. We are just uh, viewer and content creator. Favorite cereal. Right now, I'm really into the loops. Man, I'm really into the loops. All right, the Fruit Loops. Nightmare Puffs, though. I wish I could get more, but they stopped making those, I'm pretty sure. Any tips on YouTube, I guess? Just keep going. There's gonna be an audience for you eventually. Um, and one day you're just gonna hit a landmine. Is that the word I'm looking for? <laughs> you're gonna strike gold. You're gonna find some gold. Your vid's gonna blast up. Blast off. Blast off. And you'll, you'll be there. Usually with YouTube, it takes a bit, especially nowadays, to get up into the ranks just because the... the the site is just so full of everything. If I walked at Steel War, would I change my FNAF era? I would add Showtime, and I would add in Nightmare Mode for Curse of Dreadbear. How am I doing? Good, and now that this video is finally over. Let's see. Only 30 minutes. Let's go. Dude, that is half the time. That is half the time. Hopefully this video won't be too, too long then. But yeah, I would love to do more. I saw that uh, FNAF did a uh, Q&A on what it means to be a FNAF YouTuber, and... To be fair, he didn't really talk about what it is like to be a FNAF YouTuber, so if you guys want to see that video, I'd be down because I would love to talk about how I see the franchise now as opposed to how I saw it a couple of years ago. Especially now that it is literally my job to talk about this franchise, to find news, to scour every single site possible to get content. It sounded a bit strange, but yeah, if you guys want to see that video, feel free to smash the like, boys. So that is really it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video will be out soon. I promise. This weekend, boys. If it's not out this weekend, you guys can, um, uh, I don't know. You can do something. You guys don't even need to do anything because it's going to be out this weekend, boys. Finally, it's going to be out. After a month of waiting, it's going to be out. So thanks for watching. Uh, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.